Brandon and Ryler just called. Ryler cut his hair and it looks really good. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Today is a very exciting day. I think I say that almost every day because every day is such a gift. Every day is such an exciting day, exciting time. Today, actually first of all, I just walked up the stairs. I'm a little bit out of breath. Camera was downstairs in Brandon's office. Today we are hosting one of the little artists you may have heard of. She came out with a movie recently. Yeah, we're going to have her in our home doing a full concert for us. You know, it's just a quick little three hours. It would have been amazing to go to one of her concerts. Well, I'm not technically like a verified cool fan to get her ticket. I like, tried to twice. I was like, I'm not a fan of getting the Taylor Swift tickets. Anyways, it was a little crazy. We decided to rent her movie, watch it today. The kids are so excited. We've actually invited over the Ravelli clan. They are going to come join us. Brexton and Hazy are going nutty. They're so excited. Micah, Savannah, and Leah are all excited to come watch the movie. So they're all coming to join us. I think Micah is hoping to hang out with Ryler, but what he doesn't know is Ryler is still fast asleep. He doesn't have any desire to watch the Taylor Swift movie. We might get crew in there to join us for a little bit. For now, it's just me, Brexton, Hazy, and this little princess. Oh, you are already? You look so pretty today. I think we're ready. I just want to do a half up with this cookie. Oh, I'll do your hair. Okay. For sure. We're getting all ready. The kids had a sleepover last night in the basement, so they just cleaned everything up. We had some air mattresses. We had some blankets. I decided randomly today I'm going to wash all the blankets in the whole house. I started washing the blankets, which is a great idea. After we watch the movie, we have just a little window of time to get ready for our trip to Miami, Miami. And tomorrow. then we're going to Willy Wonka. Yes, and then we're going to go to Willy Wonka tonight and to see that movie. So we have the best day lined up for us. Tons of fun. This is just the beginning because tomorrow we have to wake up in the fours make it to our flight we need to be there by six and we have about 45 minute drives so it's gonna be an early morning but it's going to be amazing we can't wait and we're so excited to take yeah. you guys along with us Ravelli's are in the house. Oh We're so excited. Okay, oh I think I figured out how to rent it. It says purchase successful. We have 48 hours. Do you guys think we can watch a three hour movie in 48 hours? 100%. Yeah. I hope so, because we're leaving town. So we've got to get that done. But you girls ready? Yeah! Taylor Swift concert is going off downstairs right now. I cannot believe that she came to perform the Eras Tour concert in our home, nearly live, streamed on video. I'm excited to hear how it was because as I was editing the vlog this morning, I could hear the tea swizzle bangers coming out of the theater and it made me just want to get up and dance. I'm hoping that they had a really fun time. It's a fun way to watch that. I think it's cool that they did that. If you weren't able to go to the concert, which I know how difficult and expensive it was to go to one of those concerts, you can now watch it in your home. Of course, with that incredible setup downstairs, it's almost like being there in real life. Excited to hear about that, but we have other things going on today, including getting ready to go out out of town very early tomorrow morning. We have to get up like four o'clock, leave the house by five, catch our flight off to Miami tomorrow. We are very, very excited about that. So we're continuing to pack things up here today with the amount of time that we have. It's gonna be a small sliver because I think we maybe already mentioned this, but we're also going to a movie tonight as a family with the Ravelli family with Mana Jo. We're gonna go see Wonka. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We do have limited time to get everything tied up and ready for our departure tomorrow. That includes tidying up this hair right here. So I'm gonna go get my hair cut really quick. Believe it or not, Ryler James Bingham has volunteered himself to come with me to drive, first of all, because he loves driving any chance he gets. But two, he, in his own words, believes that his hair might be getting a little bit long. It's time for a trim. So that is not coming from me or mom. That is not us coercing him into trimming that hair up. That is from his own mouth. I said, hey, anybody want to go get their hair cut? I'll make an appointment for all of us and we'll head down. And Ryler said, I actually think I'm going to come with you. So we're going to take advantage of that. If we can get him to say he's the one who needs to get a haircut, we're going to take advantage of that. So jump into the car right now. He's going to drive me down there, get our haircuts, come back, get packed, get ready for the movie, and get ready for some fun in the sun, baby. That's all my hair. 
I actually cut it this time. Movie is over. Valets are heading out. Guys, I have to say, that was pretty incredible. And I really, really, really love Taylor Swift. I actually saw her for the very first time in Sandy, Utah at an amphitheater. I paid $10 to see her when she was, set list was seven songs long and she was like a teenage girl. I think she was 16. Her show, it's it's gone up a little since that time, 2007, when I last saw her. That was incredible. She's amazing. The kids had fun singing, dancing. Stephanie and I sat in the back right here, looked up all the stats on Taylor Swift, all the things there is to know about her. She is quite incredible. We had a great time. Now we're gonna get all ready, completely packed up, ready to head out of town tomorrow. give Brandon more credit. <laughs> bringing all of those up. I only showed bringing up two of them, but I brought up all five suitcases. That sounds so weak. It's a lot just going back and forth, back and forth, carrying stuff up and down the stairs. I survived. I'm like, oh, we're in a good position. I don't really need to start packing quite yet. I just decided I always would rather be like ahead of the game. I'm being ahead of the game. We're always able to fit all the family in these four suitcases. Brandon and I each take a suitcase. He usually takes a medium. I take a large. And then between the kids, they take a medium and a large. This trip is a bit different because we literally booked it so last minute. We had to take Take whatever rooms they had available. We found a really cool resort on the water. They offered a king bed with a pullout. And we're gonna have to figure that out with the kids. But I wanna pack whoever's staying which room. I wanna pack them accordingly. Hazy and I will definitely be in one room. I don't know if we're gonna have Rex join us or if he's gonna sleep with the boys. I'm waiting to pack their clothes in there. But for right now, I decided I would pack. We always take an extra suitcase, especially if we go somewhere that's like beachy. In fact, I have to go upstairs and grab our beach bag. I have a big giant thing of sunscreen that I have actually packed from last trip. And then, especially being this time of year, I'm packing all the medicines. I'm actually packing a medicine bag for my room and a medicine bag for Brandon's room, complete with emergency, ibuprofen, wet ones, all the things that we could possibly need. Now, I will have some more of the medicines just because it's just easier if I just keep most of the kids' ones. And if they need it, I can take it to them. I don't imagine our rooms are going to be adjoining, which is a huge bummer. But you know what? When we planned it last minute, there's a couple of things you have to be like, okay, well, we have to be a little flexible. There's just some things that we just have to do. And this is one of them. You're having to go in different rooms. It'll be great. I actually think I might take my new hydro drug. This guy's a big boy. The 40 ouncer. He doesn't leak. That's why I'm going to take him. Straw tucks nicely inside. Quite awesome. I also stopped and grabbed some New Year's things that we can wear. We're going to be there New Year's Eve night. I got headbands for the girls, glasses. I got glow-in-the-dark necklaces and regular necklaces. We have a couple of extra things we're taking along for this trip. Right now, I'm going to pack this extra suitcase and get going because we have to leave here to go to our next movie. I'm doing a lot of sitting today. I really should get on the treadmill. We're going to be heading out here in about an hour and a half, so I'm trying to utilize the time as much as I can, but Brandon and Ryler just called. Ryler cut his hair and it looks really good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Taking a pause on the packing as we load into the car and head off to see the new Wonka movie. Now, this is gonna be kind of fun. We have the entire front row of luxury recliners in IMAX for our whole family, plus Mona Joe, plus the Ravelli's entire family and their grandma. We're all meeting up there. Another fun-filled musical adventure. I've been told that the directors, producers, whatever of Wonka do not want it to be called a musical, but it is quite full of singing. So from one concert in the basement to another type in the wild world of Wonka's Chocolate Factory, we are off to catch a movie because it's fun. We had it planned already before we even decided to do the Florida thing. Then we gotta hurry back here, finish the packing, get into bed and get up super early tomorrow to head to the airport. The best part about the movie, the snacks. Back from Wonka? It was a fun one. We had a concert here in the house, packed up for our trip, got haircuts, got a little freshened up there, went and saw Wonka, how the chocolate factory was brought to life. It was done was in a really good. fun way. I thought yeah. it was kind of fun. It was really Got good. to hang out with Mana, which is always a good time. We are back now. It's relatively early, not as early as I wish it was. We are getting right into bed because tomorrow, you guys, we are getting up somewhere in the fours. We don't know, but I know that anything in the fours is considered early. It's gonna be a little painful. But Reward is worth it. It's gonna be great. We'll just go lay down on the beach, catch up on some sleep, maybe. I doubt it. That's not really how we vacation, but it should be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be a great time, you guys. So make sure you come back, subscribe down below, like this video. We will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>